horses are fast. They're also rather large. It takes a lot of muscle to propel them, and so in turn, a lot of blood to supply those muscles with oxygen. As such, horses have proportionally huge hearts, but their size still isn't enough to provide sufficient blood flow to sustain a horse at full gallop. Horses, however, have evolved a secret weapon. Well, four secret weapons, to be precise. The average horse can gallop at nearly 30 mile an hour. To propel an animal that can often weigh around half a ton to that speed takes a ton of energy. To provide the oxygen needed for such incredible power, horses have huge and efficient hearts. An average horse has a heart that weighs around 4.5 kilos and is about the size of a basketball. A horse's resting heart rate is only around 30 beats per minute but a racehorse's heart rate tops out at around 240 beats per minute during a race. At that rate, the heart is pumping 35 litres of blood every minute. That is an incredible amount of blood coursing through the horse's body to deliver oxygen to its labouring muscles, but it's still not enough. Part of the problem is gravity. The distance between the end of a horse's leg and its heart is substantial, and that blood has to fight against the downward pull of gravity. However, each hoof, which is a surprisingly complex appendage, contains within it a biomechanical blood pump. As blood flows down into the leg, it collects in the digital cushion, a fibrous section of the hoof that contains a large network of blood vessels. As the hoof impacts the ground, a section of it flexes upwards, compressing the digital cushion and exerting pressure on the blood vessels contained within. The veins in the legs of the horse have one-way valves within them, preventing blood from being forced back the wrong way. This leaves the pressurised and deoxygenated blood with only one route to go, back up the leg towards the heart and lungs. As the hoof is raised, blood flows in again and is once again pumped back up the leg when the hoof impacts the ground. As well as pumping blood, this system helps to cushion the impact of the hoof and limit the forces travelling up the leg through the horse's rather fragile skeletal structure. The blood pumps are elegant in their simplicity. No extra energy is used to return the blood to the heart. It's powered purely by the impact of the hoof against the ground. The system recovers and repurposes energy that would otherwise be lost. It's rather analogous to an electric car's energy recovery system, where the brakes of the vehicle recycle energy as the vehicle is slowed and feeds that back into the battery. And horses were already benefiting from a similar system millions of years before humans applied the idea to cars. Amazing. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support my work and get a whole heap of extra content, you might consider supporting me on Patreon. You can find me at patreon.com forward slash the media ward. You might also like my podcast. You can find links to it down below or just search for the media ward podcast. <laughs>